Hello everyone and welcome back to RCCW. These are the final qualifiers for the Elimination Chambers and I just want to say this. I told you so. Lucas Hackett, Positively Moore, and RW Jack. I told you all so. I told you. I told you never to hinder the gender. And Henry Mahal is the WWE Champion. <laughs> oh man, I'm a happy camper. <clears throat> the gender has not been hindered. There comes Luna Loud, ready to go into this qualifier match. She was unsuccessful at Deuce's Bag Tag Team Classic to gain, to become the inaugural Reddit R Champion, losing that match to Sunset Shimmer in, hell, in a hellacious battle. However, tonight could be her night to get some gold around that waist. She could very well be the one. When heading to the Elimination Chamber, to face off with 600 participants. And here comes her opponent. A woman who made her debut earlier in tonight or yesterday, depending on when I post this video, which is actually going to be... Never mind. She made her debut yesterday. Yeah, let's go with that. Er, whenever this gets out there, either earlier yesterday or earlier in the night. And throws out her mirror. What did she do? Um, Luna? Luna, watch out! Luna! Watch out! Oh my god! Oh, come on! That isn't right! Oh, come on! And the crowd is booing! Action to Pacific and Northwest. They are just disgusted as I am. Oh, it, oh, she just got squashed! What in the hell? <laughs> and Luna's had enough. Luna has stopped, and look, she is the Atoa of Rock and Roll of RCCW. Easily one of the fastest rising in popularity. And wait a minute. Aw, oh, cheeky shot there. There's a blockbuster for Pacific Northwest. The cover. One. No, not even a two. The Pacific Northwest has to think of an eye, has to think of something to put away. Luna, uh, Luna Lana is resilient. And there's a Russian leg sweep. Very effective, and there's a lion salt from the energetic loud. My favorite loud, because and now she's gonna talk to the crowd. And there's a moon salt. Now she's my favorite because her attitude contradicts her look so much. You'd think she'd be a punk rebel, but actually she's a nice member of the Loud House, in my opinion. And Pacific Northwest, nice move there. Oh no, wait a minute. Get to the knee. Get to the shin. And that oh snap DDT from Pacific and Northwest. Come on. I just can't believe she would go about sneak attacking Luna, but that does not even get a two count. Luna Loud is resilient. You can never count her out of a fight. She the Pacific is giving her punts. Giving her kicks. Kick to the knee. Wait a minute. Into the boot. 
And Pacific to the middle rope. Oh, went for the clothesline. Oh, but Luna missed the clothesline there. It gets a leg lariat for her troubles. Like a flying Rough Rider, there's a leg drop. Luna, uh oh, uh, uh, Pacifica, you might wanna turn around, clothesline. There's that clothesline. Here comes Luna now. She's coming back into this drop kick. Or leg lariat there. Now she's she's feeling it. Luna allowed to do it. Look at this. Here comes that axe handle to the ground. There it is. The hip gyrations are coming for you. And Luna looks to take it take down Pacifica, but no Pacifica. Pacifica Northwest. No. Oh, wait a minute. She's going to go for that face buster, but no. Luna gets out of it. Punch to the face. And Luna going for the rock and roller plex. Was that the rock and roller plex? What the hell is Luna plotting here? Luna Loud, the best loud in the loud house. Punch to the face and uh oh. She's going for the boom drop. There's the boom drop. You didn't go for the pin, what the heck Luna? Oh wait a minute now, she's going for another boom drop. Boom drop. <clears throat> wow. That's, that is it. Luna Loud is the first participant inside, inside, inside the Elimination Chamber. What? Technical difficulties, folks. Fucking ads. There you go. There, there it is, the theme. That's like the whole thing if you go and or only. There's a fucking ad. We have very low quality theme music here. But it's something, folks. We try. We try our hardest. It's something. Not much, but it's something. And Luna, they're reversing the face buster. And that was all she wrote after that second boom drop. Referee um, Steve Patrick drops to his knees and counts to the three. Steve Patrick is the referee we have named him. I know. Not, in 1989, Worms preferred Steve Bastard, but I just I like I like Steve Patrick. Steve Patrick's Steve Patrick's a good name for a referee. And oh wait a minute, Luna is not done. Luna is not done by a long shot. It's not. You don't see Luna do this very often, but I guess a sneak attack is really going to piss off the Ayatoa of Rock and Roller. Chair shots. You don't mess with the Ayatoa of Rock and Roller. Into the corner. And this right here. Is perfect coming right up. Boom drop out of the chair. Nice. And a little bit of head banging for you. And that's it. Luna Loud walks out of here with the W. And she's going to the chamber. A very hearty congratulations to Luna Loud for heading into the chamber. But we have got more pressing issues to attend to. It's going to be Ayano Ashi versus Kitana. The one-on-one the -on -one debuts of both of these W Division superstars. And let's get this underway. Oh, 
I love this song. And here comes Taro Yamada leading Yandere Chan for Anoashi down to the ring. And she has that she has a determined look on her face. You do not want to mess with a determined Yandere. You do not want to mess with any kind of Yandere, but a determined one is much more dangerous. And Taro Yamada, her senpai, went down to the ring because, you know, fuck Buddha. Fuck that guy. Sorry if I'm pissing off anyone who ships that, but just, just fuck Buddha. Like, like, like Big Mac's girlfriend, fuck her. The bitch. Yano turning on the lights. Certainly, the Undertaker Paul Bearer relationship between these two. Just a little bit more lovey dovey. I don't think Yar Tar Toro Yamada, Taro Yamada calls Ayano Wendy, though. I mean, Wendy's, they've been roasting people lately, man. And the light What's this? And here comes Kitana. The bouncy thing. Ever ready for her match. Here she come. Wait, wait a minute. Look at Ayana. Ayana Washi. With a kick. Right to the nat right to the face. Ayano. Ayano looks poised and the bell has rung. Ayano now. Going to work. Vicious kick. Oh come on. Oh you're joking, right? Keep your panties to yourself, Ayano. And a Bronco Buster, but no. Oh, come on! Really? Panty shots. And a Phoenix Splash with Kitana, but that's not going to do anything. It's way too early in the match. Way too early. Leano now with a Pele kick. A Pele kick there. Overhead Pele kick. I don't know. Going to work. Airplane spin. Mama Mia. And a somersault leg drop. But come on, Ayano. Stop with the panties. Ayano just stalking her prey. Nice shining wizard kick there. From Ayano Ashi. Or I I Ashi. I don't know. How do you pronounce that? And there's a... Fireman's carry around house. And Ayano just looking down at Kitana. Waving. And a goes for a strike, but no, Kitana. He would have counter out of it. Oh, and a pillow kick of her own to counteract. And there's an elbow drop. Kitana. Another elbow drop. Kitana's trying to come back. But can she? Four on. Spinning heel kick. Kick. One for another kick, but Ayano Insakuri kick to the head. Mamma mia. Ayano, wait, one for the kick to the gut. Nope. On a backflip. Just pull your pants down. Oh my goodness. It's like every move that Kitana tries to get in, Ayano Washi somehow finds a way to counter it. And there we go again, Kitana now. She calls this the fan blade. Calls that the fan blade. <coughs> Here's the cover. 
Not even a one. That doesn't get a one. Ouch. That's rough. Danny shooting star press there. And Katana just baffled, just trying to think of what to do. What to do. Spinning heel kick. And now, kick to the gut. Kick to the gut, kick to the gut, to the gut. And a spinning face kick. Oh my god. The leg down. Oh wait, wait. Anna calls this the wings of love. Wings of love connect. That has got to be it. If no, not even a, not even a one. Goodness gracious me. And Ayano, I think she could be searching for that, for her submission maneuver. No, she's not. Instead, she's gonna hit a fireman's carry. But I went for a fireman's carry slam. But instead, yeah, can't set a flips out of it into another fan blade. A fan blade again. The katana looks to try to end this. How will she end it? Oh, so the, oh wait. Now she's got her up. Beware. The kiss of death. The kiss of death connects. That's gotta be it. One. It didn't get a two? Call the law. Oh, now. Kana. I think she wants to hit her secondary move. Greetings from Medina. No! It doesn't connect. And she gets another kick to the gut. And another wings of love. The wings of love again have flown. What the? She's going for the end. something there. No, she doesn't get it. Look, she's going to go for it. Is that, a, is that another fan blade? That looks like another fan blade. And now, what is she thinking here? Oh, come on. No, we're getting a full panty shot. Oh, my God. Double knees to the stomach. The move KO claims he used to do. Kevin Owens used to do that move, I guess. No. Went for something there. Another wings of love, but no. Counteracted. Hey. Wait a minute! Look at the stage! It's Belina! It's Belina! Belina's here! Belina is here! I can't believe it! Oh my god! The all call wrestling women's champion! The Amazon League champion is here. She's here and look at that Twitter, eat Melina eat. It's funny because it makes sense. But Melina is here. The outcast of Adenia. The spawn of Sang Soon's flesh pitted. Wait! No! Katana, look out! Katana, look out behind you! Look out! Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Into the ring. And Ayano. Look at this. Wrapping, wrapping Katana up. She wraps Katana up. She's wrapping her up. In the Ayano lock. Karo Yamada is going wild. No, this is no, not like this. Not like this. No, 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 no. Ayano wins thanks to interference by Melina. Oh my god, I thought Katana had it. Katana had it won. Getting fucking ridiculous. Way to find a video without fucking ads in it. But Katana, unfortunately, has lost.
And that's it. Kitana will not be going to the chamber. It said it will be Ayana Lashi. Mm -hmm. won't have, the late teams won't happen next time I do. They have, the crew has to find videos without um, ads in them. Because ads are a fucking nuisance. And Ayano is victorious. She very well could be going into that chamber. She's a dangerous force despite her size. That's it. Wait a minute! Milena! Milena's getting Katana on the outside! Into the flesh pits! Oh my god. Melina just hits the flesh into the flesh pits right onto the solids, the concrete floor. Whew. Jesus. This, is, this has been a hectic night. Well, we got Batgirl versus Harley Quinn in the main event of this episode. And then and we will finally finally conclude the qualifier for the chamber in the next part of this show yes and her theme is just like fire but wait a minute it's only Quinn look out bad girl Oh my god, come on, this song was just getting to the good part. It was getting to the chorus, that's the best part of the song. Oh my god, can we just have a match with no sneak attacks please? That would be real nice. Oh my god. And a kick to the skull by Holly Quinn. Come on, no. She can do this because the bell hasn't even rung yet. Oh my god, Batgirl doesn't deserve this. Her only crime is being a Batgirl. Being Batgirl. Oh, come on. Arla, your time, your time is up. You just can't keep living in the past. Not that good at all. Wow, nice botch. And that allowed, that allowed Batgirl to go right after you, stomp you away, stomp away at you. Hope it feels good to get stomped on. Yeah, get her. Come on, Batgirl. Get her, give her what she deserves for that sneak attack. Float over DDT, but no. Flipped out of it. Kick to the back. I think Batgirl just psyched Harley Quinn. Har no. Damn it. Harley Quinn is psyched Batgirl. Oh, never mind. Don't taunt Batgirl. Look at this. What's she going for here? I went for a fine to carry slam, but instead, it's Harley flips out of it. And a French kiss DDT. Shades of Maurice. Which, let's honestly, does anyone really care? Does anyone even remember when she was a wrestler? Yeah, me neither. And I, there's that move. This time she didn't botch it horribly. Spinning heel kick. No, knee to the face. And whoa! Nice combo. And another super kick, Michael. Michael. Super kick, Michael. And what's she going for here? Here's a Hoshi the Roshi for you. Off the ropes. Stop there. What's she going? Oh, diving knee to the back there. Back row is giving it all she got. And there's the bad execution. She basically has the same signatures and finishers as Batman. One. And the bad execution only gets one. So, the signatures of Batman are the bad execution and the Gotham City Limits. Bat and then the finisher is the uh, the bat breaker. And oh my god, Holly Quinn now kicked to the gun out of him. She's she's going in. There's the 
batter up. No, the strike three. No, it's called batter up. And there's a kick out by Bar. I mean, Batgirl. How in God's name did she kick out? And Harley looks to be very agitated at the fact she couldn't put her away. Kick to the face. Devastating kick. We get a kick. There's another kick. And Harley's just going to town. Even after that pre-match assault. Batgirl's giving it all she's got. Giving Harley a fight. Man. Oh, Harley. Still has got to deal with the Batgirl. The Batgirl. There's a backflip. Because, you know, let's taunt. Batgirl now. Forearm. Another forearm. Got a Twitter notification. Sling Blade. Lin Loud, what are you tweeting? What is Lin, Lin Loud? Yeah, Lin Loud follows me on Twitter. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Gotham City Limits! There's the Gotham City Limits. The cover. One. No. She didn't get it. Batgirl is anxious to get up. Oh, she's gonna go for the bat breaker. No, she doesn't spun around. Oh no. Oh no no no. No 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 no. Please. For the love of God, don't tell me she's going. I think she's going. Not with those freaking heels on. No. Oh. She's going for the suicide stomp. That's the best I can think of. He, I know some of my subscribers like Wesley Lynn and Woosley and and Nan Worms think of better names for that. So think of a better name for that, but Harley Quinn. Has won, and yes, her theme is Alexa Bliss. For obvious reasons. She is the Alexa Bliss of RCCW. Just don't forget that pre match assault. That was unnecessary. Harley Quinn, nevertheless, has won. The Batgirl gave it all she had. It was not enough. Harley able to catch that kick, and then goes and dives for the suicide stomp. There you have it. So we have now have three ready for the featherweight qualifier for the featherweight championship. We have Ayanawashi, Luna Loud, and now we got Harley Quinn. And Harley is very happy. What's she doing here? Oh come on! No, oh, not to the ankle. She's attacking the ankle. Come on, this is pathetic. No, 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 please. Harley, 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 think of, you won the match, damn it. You won the match. What more do you want? What, what kind of gratification are you gonna get? Oh my God. What kind of gratification? What kind of self gratification can you get for cracking someone's ankle? And Harley, we're gonna hit strike three again. We gotta go, folks. I mean, no, we don't. See, and this is disgusting. Ugh. 